Hello. Today we'll be finding delta of the limit of a function given x and epsilon through graphical means. Before we start, we should explain what a formal limit is. A formal limit states that as the limit of f of x as x approaches c for any epsilon greater than zero, no matter how small, there is a number sigma or delta, such that if x is within delta units of c, but x doesn't equal c, then f of x will be within epsilon units of the limit. We are going to explain this graphically through the use of this given function and information. Let's list out our known values. The four values we need are listed here as x, l, e, and sigma. We have x and e being 4 and 0.8 already, since that was given to us. And since the l value is just the y unit at the given x, we can graphically plot on the function where x is and find l to be 2. Now we get the lower and upper y bounds by adding or subtracting e from l, and then plot those values as straight lines at y equals. The two lines we get occur at y equals 2.8 and y equals 1.2, which are drawn here in red. Now we can find delta by plotting a line straight down where the two y bounds intersect the function. These lines are drawn in blue. Now we can graphically estimate what the x values of those lines are where they touch the x axis. The lower bound appears to be around 3.2, while the upper looks to be around 6.6. .6. Now to find delta, we find the distance the bounds are away from x. The lower boundary is at 0.8 units away, while the upper is 2.6 units away. Delta calls for the maximum distance, which means the smallest delta value. So our delta here happens to be 0.8. Here I will show you how to solve for sigma or delta given the shown information. Here we are given the function of f of x equals 1 plus 2 to the quantity 4 minus x as well as our x at 4 and our epsilon at 0.8. To start, we can find the limit of f of x by replacing x with 4. Doing this gives a limit of 2 given f of x. Now we find the y bounds of the function by adding or subtracting the epsilon value from the limit that we've just found. This gives us f of x equals 2.8 and f of x equals 1.2 for our y bounds. Now to find out what x value these lines intersect the function at and give us our x bounds, we set both lines equal to the original function and solve for x. For this specific problem, be mindful of using logs to find x. After algebraically solving both x's out, we find out our x bounds to be at x equals 3.162 and x equals 6.3219, approximately. Now to find the delta value of this problem, 
We find the distance away from x each bound is and use the smallest distance. This means our delta value for this problem is 0.85 approximately. 